How do you look back at the accomplishments of Hong Kong in the last two decades with regards to democracy? And what do you envision for Hong Kong as a global financial hub going forward? The British ruled Hong Kong for 156 years or whatever it was and never introduced a semblance of democracy. It was only when the Chinese, the issue of handover came, that it became a big theme. That's when they started jumping up and down. They inherited a British colony, a British colony which had a colonial economy. It was a rigged land system. Therefore, property prices were sky high. I think it's very important that Hong Kong integrates with China economically, but that really means the Bay Area. And Hong Kong's future absolutely is bound up with this. And it's not just about Hong Kong as the financial centre, it's also about Hong Kong broadening itself. Not everyone works in the financial sector in Hong Kong. It's often reduced to that, but it's lots of people, young people who don't work in the financial center and they need a sense of the future and opportunity. But it has to renew itself. It has to reform itself. It has to get rid of a lot of colonial attitudes which still operate within Hong Kong. And it has to embrace China in a different way. The ordinary people need to understand that. This is absolutely fundamental to Hong Kong's future. But I think these kind of residual colonial attitudes, which is looking down on China, which is embracing the West, you look westwards, you don't look northwards towards China and so on. Those kind of attitudes have to change.